Very good mornings to all. I'm Ko from TechCare Innovation. Today, I will bring you technology that cares. So what will you do if you are thirsty? Of course, you can grab a glass of water and bring it. If you are hungry, you can eat. If you are boring, probably you can dance. But do you realize that actually many people cannot do this? especially the stroke patient. They have to rely on someone to feed them, to dress up them, and even going to the toilet. In fact, up to 52,000 of Malaysians suffer stroke every year, close to 2 million in China. For worldwide, it's 15 million of people suffer this injury every year. In one minute, 28 people will have a stroke. So this is a big problem that we want to look into. To better understanding the need, I myself go to a lot of rehabilitation centre, hospital to really understand what is the current rehabilitation process and to see what is the limitation and their problem they face. There are two main problems here, which is large number of patients and the lack of the physiotherapies. Today, over 5 million of stroke survivors in Malaysia. The ratio is 1 to 35,000 while well, optimum should be 1 to 14,000. And this is a real situation in one of the rehabilitation centers in Malaysia, where two therapists have to handle up to 30 patients at the same time. And the same thing happened to overseas as well. In the hospital, they have to make sure the quality of the physiotherapy is good. That's why they have to fix it to one-to-one -to -one training session. But because of too many patients, they have to discharge some of the patients, even though they are not fully recovered. This is a typical stroke recovery process where the patient can still improve within the first six months and after that will be stagnant without physiotherapy trainings. Well, of course, with physiotherapy trainings, they can improve a lot more, but after six months, the improvement will be very little. So what I'm trying to say here is, the first six months is very important for the patient to have enough trainings to get the best recovery, and what we call by golden period. But the problem is we don't have enough physiotherapies. That's why rehabilitation robots come into place, where it is able to provide assistive trainings, interactive and intensive trainings for the patient. But the problem is current rehabilitation robot are huge, complex, and expensive, and many people cannot afford it. That's why we want to look into this, and we want to create something new, a compact, portable, and affordable rehabilitation robot for everyone who need it. We started with a motion, human motion analysis, by analyzing the conventional human activity, for example, drinking, eating, and pick and place. And we realized that a lot of movements are confined to a plain movement, which means instead of an exoskeleton robot which can do a big movement, we can actually have a more simple robot, which is a modular basis, where we can have different kinds of training, linear movement for reaching movement. On top of it, we can have different kinds of modules for different kinds of training movement. For stroke patient, there's a lot of different kinds of condition. So this we can actually customize for different patient condition. With this concept, we started CR2, stand for Compact Rehabilitation Robot. It is a series of compact, portable, and affordable robotic system for rehabilitation. Today, I will share with you three of our invention, CR2 Reaching, Haptic, and InnovaBot. The first robot is the CR2 Reaching. It is a rehabilitation robot used for shoulder and elbow reaching movement trainings, where you can play games by doing training at the same time. And the robot provides haptic sensation, which means it's able to give the tactile sensation of real-world object. of recovery. This is hard, very heavy. 
and we can have a wood gel wall with our motor control. We limit the range of training movement for different patient needs. And of course, the interesting part is the spring effect, where they can feel the real world object by doing the training, which is important for them because they lost the sensation because of stroke. And that's why we want to give the sensation for them during the trainings. It can be trained for different training setup, horizontal, standing, and lower limb. The second robot that I want to share with you is CR2 Haptic, which is a much more smaller version for wrist, forearm, and hand training movement. It provides assist as needed training where it acts like a physical therapy. will give assistance when it is needed. Whenever a patient they can't move their hand, it will act like a physical therapy, give the assistance for the patient to move. Well, once the patient starts to improve, getting better and better, the robot will know they are getting better and they will give challenge and resistance to resist the patient. It provides various kinds of functional modules which is important for the patient to do activity daily living trainings. With these kinds of different kinds of tools, we can have different kinds of functional movement in daily activity to be trained in a single device by just changing with different modules. So what is exactly the patient benefit? In typical conventional trainings, patients can only train two hours every two weeks. In one year, they can only train 48 hours. And it's very limited for the patient. So what we want to do is we want to provide robotics trainings, others and two hours every two weeks, and now we can have three hours of robotic training at our home. With this, we want to give up to 2,000% of rehabilitation trainings for the patient. And this is the big impact that we want to give for every patient who need it. With telemonitoring features, now the patient can buy the device and do the rehabilitation at home. All the data will be stored in the internet and assessed by the physical therapy. With the internet, therapists can assess not only managing one patient, but more than one patient at the same time. It saves time, reduces costs, and increases the efficiency. And this is our latest invention, InnovaBot. It is used for balancing training and ankle rehabilitation, which is a new interactive balance board to train balance, prevent, and can even predict your injury. It provides interactive rehabilitation trainings. We can play games by having training of our balance, training programs for different kinds of users, and of course, objective assessment. They can know how well they progress along the training period. And most inter interesting part is we provide injury prediction, where the user can know how high the risk of getting fall or getting ankle injury in just within 10 seconds. And I will going to have a demo to you after this. So we work with a lot of rehabilitation centers and hospitals so that we can make sure we are doing something that really benefits the patient themselves. And we want to thank to all the hospital and rehab center. Along the journey, our device also won some award, including World Invention Award in British Invention Show, which is a top award, Best R&D in Malaysia, Epita Award, and many others, over 20 international and national awards. We hope with these devices, we can give a better recovery for people who need rehabilitation training in the future. Thank you.